we should be live now after I had a little fist fight with YouTube, but hello, welcome to the newest Anna stream. This week, we're going to play Sakura Wars with a very special guest. Would you like to introduce yourself, uh, special guest? Yeah, hey guys, it's me, it's Claire. Um, thank you so much, Patrick, for having me on this week. I'm super excited to watch you play this. Yeah, I'm super excited too. It's been uh, it's been quite a while since we had a an a classic Anna stream like this or Anime Stream Saturday as it used to be called. But uh, yeah, it's great. Um, how's things been since uh, we last talked or you last been on stream at least? Oh, things have been good. Um, doing a lot of gaming, Saturn and not Saturn related. Ooh, um, do tell. Yeah, so. Um, ever since the Retro Bit controller released earlier in the year, I kind of got back into playing some games that I had left. Um, so it's been a lot of fun. Nice. What uh, what games have you been uh, been playing? At least, or games, or at least newer games or older games? Yeah. So I revisited the Panzer Dragon series. Um, gotcha. I've been spending a lot of time with that, specifically the first and second ones because um, I feel like I haven't given those games enough love over the years, and I've been trying to get better at them. Um, they're pretty difficult, in all honesty, for me. I'm not too big into action games, so it's a challenge, but I'm working to improve myself. Yeah, no, I don't uh, I don't blame you. I am, like, really bad at the Panzer games. I tried playing it, and it's like, it's like, uh, I don't know. I've always been bad at those kind of games, especially, like, Star Fox. Oh, yeah, yeah. So those have been my, my, my kryptonite in terms of gaming stuff is those sort of games. But I do enjoy them. I do really want to sit down and do like a full Panzerfest and beat all of them eventually. That's yeah, okay. I rushed through the first two. Honestly, like when I was initially going through the series, I rushed through the first two because I was so excited to get to Saga. So now I'm kind of going back in, doing the first ones a little bit more justice. Nice. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I think it should. I think it's like every every Saturn Saturn fans' rite of passage is to at least play through the series once, right? Right. I mean, you you kind of have to. The most probably the most um, well known series on the system. So. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what uh, um, uh, what other what sort of modern games have been have you been playing? I've been playing a lot of my 3DS. Um, I've been away from home a lot in the past few months. So I've been going through Pokemon um, Omega Sapphire or Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire rather. Um, I've been doing that and I've been finishing up some Pokemon Sun and Moon as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I really need to get on my Pokemon game. I've been trying to play those for a while, especially X and Y. I think those were the last ones I played. I started... a. Uh, Pokemon Sun, and I captured one Pokemon. I put it down, and I haven't played it since. <laughs> oh no! It's just been Do you remember what the one was that you got? It was the one with the the weird hair. It's like a the one that you. Uh, it's like a a gopher sort of one. The the uh, it looks like a certain. It looks like a president with the hairdo. A president? Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's the the one with the Donald Trump looking hair. I'm trying to think of who you mean. It's it was like the first one when you leave the when you get the badge, you go out to the the first uh, grassy knolls, and then you go like this Pokemon thing. I don't think it was a gopher, but it was like it had like that Donald Trump hair looking thing. I, I don't know how to exactly describe his hair. I was gonna say <laughs> pompadour, but it looks nothing like a pompadour, so it's definitely oh not my that. Gosh. But yeah, no, it's it's been fun. Uh, I kind of really want to get. Uh, I really want to play Sword and Shield, even though I've heard some things about the them taking out the Pokemon and stuff. Right, right. But you know, I'm I, I'm a big Pokemon guy, and you know, as I've talked to a couple of my friends, they're like, yeah, you know, it does kind of suck, but the game doesn't isn't bad, per se. It's just you know, you know, it just kind of it's just kind of a bummer, more of a you know awful game, you know. Right. I'm going to be trying it here pretty soon. I gifted myself a Nintendo Switch Lite for Christmas. Nice. So I'm going to be trying out Pokemon Shield after that. and We'll see how it is. It's going to be tight. Let me know how it is. We'll have to... Uh, I'll, see, I'll see if I'll, I'll pick it up. We'll like, trade some Pokemon or something or have some Pokemon battles. Yeah, let's do it. 
Yeah, we're th this is totally a great Saturn stream talking about Nintendo, right? <laughs> right, I know. It's best stream ever. But uh, I guess, it, yeah, but um, I just bring it back to the anime. What have you been uh, watching recently? I, I remember, I think I saw you post about the, um, the uh, it was Demon Slayer, right? Yes, yes, Demon Slayer. Um, I went through that pretty recently because I had seen people posting about it on social media and I'm like, what is this about? So I decided to check it out and I ended up watching the entire series in like three days. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed it. Have you watched it? Um, yeah, I actually, I actually had an interesting relationship with that. I started watching it and I was like, at first I was like, man, this seems like a really, uh, a, a really, a really big rip off of, uh, or not a ripoff. I guess it seemed like a really more boring. Uh, I don't know if you watched Dororo Row at all. A little bit. It kind of felt like that at first, but then I started watching it a little bit more. I was like thinking about, I was like, you know what? I'll I'll continue watching it, and uh, it's really great so far. I haven't finished it yet, but I got to. Where's the last part I got to? Uh, oh, he just uh, met Michael Jackson. That's not a joke, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly who you mean. Yeah, that's not a joke, by the way. That literally, I literally Michael Jackson shows up and he's a demon, but it's that he part, does. and he cuts that, he does that scratch thing on that person, and yes, that was the last episode I remembered so far. But so far, I'm excited, especially watching with my roommate and literally making Michael Jackson jokes the entire time. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm the, I'm the pinnacle. Of maturity when it comes to watching anime sometimes <laughs> hey there's nothing wrong with that but yeah no i actually really enjoy it i'm excited to meet the the, the pig mask man or the, the hog. oh yes inosuke <laughs> yeah so that's super that it's been super interesting i really i'm really enjoying it and the, and i think one of the things that really saw on me is the i guess spoilers the episode where his sister jumps out of the thing and starts fighting the demons that was yes. like it was like whoa okay this show's cool yeah oh she's awesome but yeah that's been uh that's been great i've been really enjoying that series and uh yeah it's, it was a pleasant surprise for sure my roommate has been trying to get me into that well he likes to get me into a lot of animes like he's been getting me into try to get me into gintama and all those other ones it's like oof i don't have the time for that one I know. That's one reason why I went with Demon Slayer, because it was, like, very consumable. It's only one season long so far. I'm like, I can do this, but whenever it starts getting up into the hundreds of episodes, it's very intimidating. Yeah, for sure. For sure. But, yeah, I mean, I re already, I'm already committed to Det Detective Conan, and that's like a 900-plus oh episode <laughs> show, show. It's like, oh my gosh. But I actually have, uh... I've made it my um my Law and Order SVU if you know what I mean. Yes. Like that yes. show that's like okay I'm bored what are we watching okay mm -hmm. let's watch the Detective Conan episode and put it down and you know have it in the archive. But the good thing about it is that it's gonna be it's pretty much never ending. So I've been watching it for a little bit greater part of a year year and a half after no it's been a year since I I got the episodes and I'm only up to episode 162. Oh wow! So you've got quite a ways to go still. Yeah, but it's it's really cool. It's like it's not really like a anime that you have to sit through. It's more like or like you have to follow and keep the plot, like something like Naruto or uh, One Piece. It's more of just like okay, you can watch it, just chill out, you know, nothing too bad. So yeah, the episodes seem very self-contained. I've watched a few here and there. Um, normally, like on network TV. Um, sometimes it would come out like, or come on rather, like after another show I was watching, and I would sit there and see what it was about. So. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, uh, did you? Uh, I was looking at the chat, and it said, uh, "Didn't the Sakura Wars anime air on Toonami?" I don't think I remember that. Did you ever see it air on Toonami at all? I don't. I've never seen it personally. The only thing that I know about that is that there was some sort of VHS that was released here like a while ago and I just remember people kind of laughing about it because on the box art it made mention of the game and it was like based on the hit selling game that <laughs> never released in English so <laughs> yeah that was super hilarious I, I remember I saw that on the uh when I was doing when I was doing the uh, the video for that 
and it's like, wait, what? The best-selling video game. It's like, mm -hmm. you mean the one that never came out here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, seriously, why would we... <laughs> why? <laughs> why would you tease us so much? But... I know, it's painful. I know that you and I have struggled with the lack of English translation for this game for many years, so... Yeah, I mean, all we it got... It kind of soothes my soul that it's here now. <laughs> yeah, we can finally enjoy the first one. I, I know we've been... We had so long my love on the PS2 for years, but it's like... Right. I mean, yeah, they, they didn't throw us a bone at all. All we got was that one. I mean, but luckily the new Project Sakura Wars is going to be released in the West, so that's going to be intense. I know, it looks like a pretty big game. It looks like a big deal. Um, from like the footage that I've seen, it seems to be very polished, so I'm hoping that a lot of people have a chance to pick it up and experience it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's even the first of Core Wars in general in like almost over 10 years as well. Because the last one right. was wasn't that... wasn't so long my love in like 2005 or something? I think, I think it was 2005 Japan, 2010 America. So it's been quite a number of years before before anybody was ever able to play any Sakura Wars game, so... It's super right. intense that we're able to play these weeb simulators once again. I know. God, I'm, I live on these, though. Yeah. They sustain me. Exactly. <laughs> That's... The, the, weeb, the weeb stuff makes me very happy, but... I'm super happy I can play my dating sims on... Like, we, we live in... We live in the perfect future now. We're finally getting these games we never were imagined to get. I mean, like, I, I was even talking to a friend of mine about the, the game Paradise and how it had, like, three or four different re-releases and special editions, two of which were in America. I mean, it's, like, insane. Right. These type of games are definitely picking up in terms of popularity. Um, even, like, in the past ten years... It didn't seem like nearly as many of these dating sims were making it mainstream, and now there's, I mean, a decent selection coming out, even on consoles like the Switch, so. Yeah, no, it's it's great. I think people are sort of starting to realize that, hey, these are actually selling. I mean, they're not probably, like, gangbusters like Call of Duty or something, but, you know, it's it's selling. Like, people are buying these games. It's it's amazing. Like, we can, we can finally enjoy these these games, we enjoy pretty much anything, like, um, even, I think maybe that has to do with maybe the rise of anime as well, if you think about it, at least in the, the early 2010s, but, you know. Yes, that's another thing that's become much more prevalent, like, in pop culture. Um, it used to be that anime was kind of reserved for nerds, but now it seems like a lot more people are picking it up and finding that they enjoy it, so... Yeah, no, it's really cool. I even, I mean, I think the coolest thing that I really it sort of sunk in was when I went to, uh, I went to see the uh, the Dragon Ball Z movie, I guess Dragon Ball Super movie Resurrection F, and the theater. I went two times a week apart, and the theater was packed both times. It was insane. Whoa. Like, I mean, it's it's crazy that like this is the reality I always wanted. Like, I can we can finally enjoy our weeb stuff. We can go to these conventions, get these mainstream. These mainstream things, I think the only thing that we, we're missing is getting, like, a primetime television anime ser series running. That's the only right? thing. Right? I mean, I guess... Hey, it could happen. In this new decade, I think it's gonna happen. I think so, too. It, ne it needs to happen. I mean, uh, I think um, one of the biggest things was... Uh, I, I guess if you think about it, maybe Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! had that, that sort of acclaim back in the day. But I mean, it wasn't primetime, like, you know, uh, late-night television or... You know, uh, evening television, but I mean, I guess it sort of was airing big time, right? I know, would you count it that way, or I don't know? Yeah, for sure. Um, those kind of like swept the world by storm over here, and it was my first real um, like exposure to anime. I didn't know what it was back then. I just thought it was a cartoon. But yeah, as a kid, that was my first exposure to. Any kind of animation from Japan, so. Yeah, no, I that, that the same here. Like Pokemon, I think was my big first one. I think Pokemon. Um, I might have watched Kiki's Delivery Service before then. I I'm unsure. It's sort of it's sort of a blur. But it was either Kiki or uh, Pokemon was my first one. Mm. 
I, know, I, I, I love Kiki Rome. That was one of my favorite ones. And then, of course, you know, came Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z, and, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! And fast forward to now, it's like, it's like, like every day I'm watching an anime. It's crazy. It's crazy. I know. I love it. Same, but uh, but yeah. Um, besides Demon Slayer, what uh, what else have you been watching? Well, I've kind of been consumed by that for the moment. I've been reading the manga as well. I'm almost caught up with that. So that's sort of been like my sole thing for the past few months. Oh, I got. How about you? Uh, ooh, what, what am I watching? Um, so I I've been, so since I moved out, it's it's been sort of anime after anime, and I literally. The funniest thing is the live action is more rare than the anime. Like, uh, uh, the 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 most recent live actions I've been watching were, you know, the uh, the Watchmen, uh, Watchmen and the new Witcher series. But in terms of anime, it's been okay. Which one did I last watch? It's so many. Um, I think. Oh yeah, we've been watch. I've been watching Initial D with my roommate again. That's been pretty fun going through that because he never watched it before so he's he loves he he's in love with it because we love cars so we always do that and uh besides that um watching i've been watching sakura wars anime because of the sakura wars game hashtag sakura wars plug right <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's been uh, awesome though i know you that you've been a big fan of initial d for a while yeah it's all about that i've been so much of a fan i actually got my car i got well, I got another car. I got it in manual, so. Oh, wow. So you're really getting into that vibe. Yeah, I got a, got that Japanese car, manual transmission. You just got to just gotta move my car to the, the right side of the driving position and uh, start <laughs> drifting on the freeway, playing Eurobeat. Yeah, I was going to say. It's going to be intense. No, it's probably <laughs> not going to happen. But <laughs> it's, uh, but yeah. Uh, besides that, yeah, the um, yeah, Game Paradise, that one, that a lot of OVAs. Um, I kind of want to watch the the Promised Neverland. I've heard good things about that one. So, that that one's pretty. That one's gonna be pretty pretty cool to to watch and check out. And uh, I I just want to get some more slice of life animes because I've been watching a lot of Detective Conan. And I kind of want to, well, I guess it's not slice of life, it's slice of murder life, but, you know, uh, I kind of want to finish up, um, uh, what was it, the Oran High School Host Club? Yes, uh-huh. That one, uh, that one I want to finish up for sure, because I, I, I started watching it and I liked it. I know it's kind of weird to say, but it's, it, it was a, it was really cute, I liked it. Uh, the dub, the dub was okay, I kind of preferred the, the sub though, in all honesty. That's a great one, honestly. I never got the whole way through it, but that's another one that kind of um, was like a big thing in pop culture, at least when I was growing up in high school. Um, kind of fitting. Yeah. A lot of people were watching it, and I feel like people that I wouldn't have expected to ever partake of anime were like really into it. So that was cool. Yeah, no, that's that. It's it's super cool. I'm really uh, it, it, it was one that even now that you see um. You actually see like cosplay at conventions still to this day. Like, I don't think I've been to one convention where I haven't seen, you know, somebody wearing that famed costume, mm -hmm. or I guess infamous costume if you if the way you look at the series, right? Right. But yeah, no, that's uh, but yeah, no, Oran Host. Yeah, I'm mean, seeing Chase Red Oran Host Club is amazing. Good taste right there. Much approved. But yeah, oh. I completely forgot. I also finished the uh, the Yu Yu Hakusho anime. <laughs> I completely forgot oh, about finally. that. That's even my my side project. I know. I was gonna say that's your big thing. <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah, but the, I I finally finished the uh, I finally finished that, and we actually aired the last episode uh, a couple weeks ago, or sorry, or aired the last podcast a, a last a couple weeks ago, and it was really bittersweet. Um, the last arc was awful. Like it was completely terrible the three kings arc was horrendously bad but the last episode was really sweet and bittersweet and i, I was really happy because it's like i'll do all your while you're drinking right now but it's it's just really bittersweet because like all this uh, all this time you know going with my my co-horse hosts all of this anime talking you know it's it's over it's an experience we experienced together 
making this giant podcast, all the dumb do- JoJo jokes that I made throughout the entire podcast, which is every other episode, so. Yeah, well, congratulations to you guys for finishing that up. Um, I know that was a labor of love for you for quite some time. Yeah, it was a it was a big labor of love, and I'm glad that we finished it up. And uh, as of, I think, hopefully next year, we're going to jump into Hunter x Hunter. So that's going to be another undertaking. Yes, definitely, but something that would be well worth it, I think. Yeah, everyone on our cast sort of loves Hunter x Hunter, so we're really excited, especially my co-host Joe is really excited to get into Hunter x Hunter for sure. So and I and I'm super intense to to sort of play it because I think it's going to be a really great game. Sorry, great game. I'm dumb. Great anime. Actually, there is games for it, but you know, you know, streaming does that to you. You'll make mistakes like that. But um, yeah. Uh, I'll say it's. I want to answer a couple questions in the chat. Uh, Kane Albertson said, "Didn't didn't the PS2? Didn't sorry. He said didn't like the PS2 that much, but like the representation of games got into Project X Zone." They even reference the Sagata Sanchiro commercials in the second game. Did you uh, ever get to play Project X Zone at all? Yes, I did. I actually really enjoyed that one. Um, and the appearance by Sagata is awesome as well. Yeah, especially the 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 the, the references to all the commercials. Like I know, of course, yes. the famous one is a uh, Sakura-san. <laughs> and then um, there's a couple other. I think there was the reference to House of the Dead when they're talking to. Uh, uh, the two guys from Darkstalkers. So that that one is a really fun game. I need to I th- need to finish those games up though. Those were really fun. Uh, did you uh did you did you play uh, both of them, the first and the second one? I only played the first one, but I really appreciated. Um, like I'm really big into the Tales series, mm. and I appreciated the representation from that. And um, kind of a fun fact, since we're talking about um, Sakura Wars, is that the character designer of this game is the same as the one from the Tales series. So there's kind of a crossover there. That's kind of interesting. I didn't know that. Yes. Huh. I, that's also a game series I really need to play. Is the Tales games. I have Tales. Uh, the only Tales game I have is the Tales of Symphonia on the on the GameCube. But apparently that. Well, that's an excellent starting point. Yeah, from what I've heard, that's sort of the. Isn't that one of the the bigger, the more famous ones? Yes, definitely. Um, it was probably one of the first ones that really became big over here, anyway. Yeah, was that? I wasn't sure. Was that the first one that released in the states, or was there more before that one? I'm not sure. So, I'd be correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that Tales of Destiny for the PS1 was the first localized game. Um, I don't think that Tales of Fantasia for the Super Nintendo came over here. Um, I don't think it was until later, but correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I could be, yeah, I could be, yeah, I, to be honest, I'm not that familiar with it, but I didn't even know it came out on the, on the, on the Super Nintendo. That's intense. Yes, uh-huh. Wow. Well, it looks, like, it looks like I have some catching up to do, at least, for those games. On top of playing the GameCube one. <laughs> I just know the GameCube <laughs> one because that's the one that I, I always remembered. You know, the famous the famous GameCube RPG. You want to be mean or nice to her? Um, oh, let's be nice. I mean, I'm just in a grateful spirit for this game right now, so. I got you. Oh, <laughs> sh- crap. I ran out of time. <laughs> Oops. I didn't realize that there was a timer there. <laughs> so, so far, um, I haven't seen this much of this translation yet. And so far, I'm like really impressed by the polish that these guys have put on this game. Yeah, it's really nice detail. I really enjoy it. Like, uh... We were, we we're talking to them a little bit. Uh, they decided to hop in the the, the, the we we're inviting them to the the uh, Saturn Discord, and we were talking to them a little bit about the about the translation, and and they were super interesting. They put a lot of detail and work into this. Like, I thought twenty four hours was bad. I, I couldn't imagine their nights. Oh my god. Oh, I can't even imagine. Like, that's another thing that's probably been a labor of love for these guys and i'm so appreciative that we have people 
who make these kinds of things available to us because I truly never thought that we would see a translation for this, especially not on the Saturn. So yeah, I just want to like extend my gratitude to everyone who was involved in this. Yes, thank you very much, guys. It's much appreciated that we that you guys were able to really bring this to the Saturn, and now we can enjoy it. We can weeb out finally and enjoy our amazing our amazing dating slim slash slash adventure slash no sorry dating dating sim slash uh visual novel slash uh rts i think i got that right <laughs> yeah there's a lot packed into one yeah so do you think that we'll get to a battle today um yeah i'm almost there so the battle should be coming a little bit soon at least i hope awesome. so i can always rush through this too i mean but it's up to you guys I'm trying to get the battle. Hopefully, we'll get to the first battle at least. It's being tense. Because I, I like the system. Like, I was telling, uh, even I mentioned in the video that it reminds me a lot of the newer Fire Emblem games, if you've ever played any of those ones. Yes, it really does. Um, especially since, like, starting with Fire Emblem Awakening, they put more emphasis on the dating sim elements with marrying characters and having the children and all that. So, I wonder if any of that was inspired by this game. Yeah, I, I definitely think that maybe there might be some inspirations. I think Intelligent Systems has done work with Sega in the past, maybe. At least I think they did. I, I could be wrong. I, I usually am. So, but yeah, I I think it's really great that, and I really and that's why I was pointing out because I really see the see the I guess the inspirations for Fire Emblem in this game. So, it's it's great. I love I love that series too. I I I got three houses when it came out in July. I've yet to play any of it. <laughs> I'm pretty bad with that. Like my my roommate even mocks me for it all the time. It's like, hey, you gonna finish a game finally? And it's like, hey, probably not. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Yeah, I don't know. It's just just a lot of a lot of games. Too many games to to sort of go through. It's ridiculous sometimes. But it is, and that's like a big problem in the age of having um like the Rhea and the phoebe for the saturn it just gives you so many choices that it's hard to commit to one and really see it through to the end yeah and and then with games like this dropping it's just throwing everything and in, into a uh into disarray almost because like okay yeah, just to, let's do ticket puncher i don't want to blow my cover uh, but yeah, it's um, it, it, this game's like this is throwing to Ray. Cause like, okay, I'm gonna play another game. It's like, nope, Sakura Wars time. It's like, oh, guess guess we're playing Sakura Wars. <laughs> but yeah, cause it's like you know, building all this up. It's like these these surprise drops are coming here and there. It's like I want to play some game, play more of my games, but I can't do it when crazy stuff like this happens. I know. Yeah. Um, so I see that Chase in the comments is saying that Fire Emblem Three Houses is way worse at the dating sim elements than this game. Oh, so, that's a bummer. I know. I was looking forward to it. I was it, thinking though. about picking that up for the Switch. So. Yeah, from what my roommate tells me, he enjoys it. He's already done one playthrough and he's working on his next one, which goes to show how fast I am playing games for sure. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, he he's going through that one right now. Um, I have yet to even beat Awakening. I have a huge. I'll just choose my type. I have a huge backlog. I got the first fire. The sorry, the Shadow Dragon, Awakening, uh, Fates, Echoes, and I have three houses now on the backlog. So that's five Fire Emblem games, <laughs> zero completed. So. Hey, maybe in the new year, at least one of them. I yeah I think I think I, I think my roommate made the joke made that joke last year. I still haven't beaten Persona Five either, so that's that's a, a giant grievance that I need to at least address sometime next year or this hopefully. Yes, yes. But we'll. Uh, we'll Persona see. Five is a big undertaking though. That game is long. Oh man, man, that game's like eighty hours. I'm only like I'm only like thirty something into it. I'm on like the fifth dungeon. But yeah. It's a lot of fun. Have you have you gotten a chance to play it? Yes, I have not finished it like you, <laughs> which is kind of sad to admit. I did finish Persona 3 this year on the PSP though, so I'm proud of myself for that one. Oof, I need I need to play those those previous ones. I actually 
I got the PS... Sorry, I got Persona 4 on the PS2. I have yet to beat that one, though. But uh, it's funny because I got it new, too. Like, you can... It was on, like, Amazon for, like, 20 bucks, brand new, sealed. It, oh, it was really? crazy. Hmm. Yeah, those PS2 games, you can get all really cheap on e on uh, Amazon, sealed. Like, I got a ton of them on there. Like, uh, I got Metal Gear Solid 3, like, a couple few years ago. I got uh, Persona 4 last... Oh, actually, I think that was a couple months ago as well. Very nice. But, yeah. Uh, how far did you get in Persona? F or Persona 5, sorry. Not far. Probably, like, 15 hours. I had the PS3 version because I actually, like... I have the Switch in my possession, but I haven't played it yet, and that is my first console of this generation. So, nice. I'm, how like, way behind. How are you enjoying it so far? I haven't opened it. Um, I have it <laughs> really? here, and I'm going to save it for Christmas. I have to... I don't know. I got it for myself, but I got to make it at least a little bit Christmas. I gotcha. So, you're just staring at it like... You know, I'm just imagining you, like, sitting in your room, staring at the box, like, with wonder, like, um... Like a kid looking at a like N64 or something in a store yes. or some sort of system. It's like, hmm. Did, what uh, what games did you get for it, if you don't mind me asking? I just got Pokemon Shield for now, and I actually got the Pokemon Switch Lite. Um, the one with the... It's like a light gray color scheme with um, blue buttons on one side and red buttons on the other side, or reddish pink. And I decided to go with that one. It's the limited edition that... Um, released with Sword and Shield, so. I gotcha. Yeah, no. Let's see. Uh, that's definitely a game. That's definitely a really nice looking system. I was heavily considering it, but it's like, well, I already have a Switch, so I don't know. And the thing is, I don't. I I used to play a lot of mobile stuff, but I don't really do it too much because it's like every time I go out, I feel I kind of feel guilty, especially if I bring like a Switch or something like to family events or something because I don't want to be that one guy sitting there <laughs> sitting there playing <laughs> the switch in the corner <laughs> but so do you typically play your switch like docked then yeah uh, I mostly play it docked I, I did technically I did play through breath of the wild when I was watching Jojo last year sorry two years ago uh, I played it docked on like a like just handheld mode Sorry, not docked mm -hmm. I played handheld mode well, I had the anime going on my uh, my computer screen. So I think that was the oh only... Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Multitasking was... at its finest. Exactly. It was dubbed, though, so I was able to understand it, luckily. But, yeah. Eventually, I smartened up, and I was able to have my Switch docked on my computer monitor and have uh, Star Trek going on the other monitor, so I can do du double down on that, too. <laughs> so Just too much to do, not enough time. Exactly, but I did finish Star Trek though. That's also that's a good thing. I'm glad I finished that up at least. Very nice. Yeah. Was I supposed to deliver? So I see Dave is here in the chat. Hi, Dave. He likes Persona Q. Very oh. nice for the 3DS. Yeah, I just uh, I just uh, finished uh, wait no I didn't finish. What am I talking about? I didn't finish any games. I just uh I just got a uh, Persona. Q2 on the on the 3DS. Uh, well, I just get just got it. I guess I mean by I bought it in in February and haven't touched it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's been that's been cool. It's sitting on my shelf over there. Need need to be played again, of course. But you know that's that's a game I want to hop in, especially with the Persona 5 stuff. But I think I'd feel bad if I started that and haven't beaten Persona 5 yet. So. It's a never-ending cycle of things like that, you know? I do know. The 3DS especially for me is difficult because I feel like I always, like, I get it in my mind that I'm going to play a game and then I end up on Nintendogs every single time. And I just sit there, I'm like, how long can I sit here doing this? <laughs> that, that was exactly me with uh, with Animal Crossing when I got my, my 3DS. It's like, I could really play Fire Emblem, but I'm going to go see my village real quick. And then it's like two hours later. Oh, okay. I guess I'm not playing Fire Emblem Awakening then. Yeah, it's an issue. Man. I feel like at least Animal Crossing, there's more substance there than Nintendogs. Uh, I think it's about the same. You know, you get to you get to interact with a really with a really cute dog, and you're helping them out doing things. I think it's a bit about true. the same game. So. That is true. So yeah, same same game in my view. <laughs> but no, I I. I, my 
brother and sister loved them ten dogs back in the day on the DS. Oh, the original, yes. Yeah, they they were always playing that one. I actually think I, I played a little bit, but then my brother deleted my dog. Oh no. Yeah. That's terrible. But it's a rite of passage thing. I don't think you can really. I, I can't really. I can't. I think you can't really go through life and have a game and not have it get erased by a sibling. I must have lost. I also must have lost a lot of uh, Pokemon as well that way. I can only imagine. But yeah. It's, it was uh, very sad, but you know. No. You just gotta pick up where you left and continue on. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, let's see. I just wanna see some of the comments. But yeah, uh, Dave was like, I'm with you, Pat. I started all the Fire Emblem games and completed none of them. I love playing them casually, just just like the the Etran games, but completion has never been a priority for me. And, and I kind of feel that sort of the same way. I'm more of like, play it until I'm, when I'm satisfied. But you know, I guess there's also that sort of, I guess that feeling of you want to beat it first. Also, this is also my favorite part in the game, with the, when he finds out the troop was actually troop like a a tr like a um like a a theater troop versus a troop like a army. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Chase Red said, "I'm so damn hyped for the Xenoblade Definitive Edition next year. My most my most my most excited or my most impressive game. Oh, oh my game. gosh! Yes, I completely agree, Chase. I'm I'm so ready for it." Exactly. I, I played. It, I started on the 3DS, but I, like everything else in my life, I put aside and forgot to finish. But yeah, I'm... I have the 3DS version as well, and like my biggest criticism of it was actually just like it, the format didn't work super well for the small screen, at least in my experience. Like I had a really hard time like seeing the um, UI elements and just in general like not being able to really clearly tell what I was doing a lot of the time. So I'm looking forward to having it um, be on a little bit bigger screen and, and higher graphical quality. Yeah, it, it was a shame that, that I could only experience Rhine time at such a low resolution. I know. Well, you're about to experience it in HD. Awesome. I'm down. But yeah, I, I, I love I loved playing Z the, the, that Xenoblade Chronicle, so I'm super pumped to pick it up on the Switch and Maybe, hopefully, if I enjoy it enough, I'll play on the second one. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about the second one. I don't own it, and I haven't played it yet, but I'll probably see what it's all about after I play the remake. Yeah, my one of my friends is big into Xenoblade. He loved he loved it from what I what I understand. So hopefully, it'll be to love it a little bit more. So you mentioned you got the uh, you, got, you mentioned you got the the retro bit controllers. Did you get the wireless ones or the wired ones? Yes, I did. I got the wireless, um, the skeleton Saturn version. Nice. Because um, you know I just like to keep the dream alive that I'm actually going to have a console to go with it someday <laughs> that matches. <laughs> you will trust but... me. It'll come in time. <laughs> but you were able to wait. So you got the skeleton wireless one. The skeleton wired one. Sorry, oh. did I say wireless? I, I was like to say, dang, where'd you get that? I need, I need to. Oh no, no, I'm sorry, I misspoke. <laughs> Actually, I need to hit, I need to hit you up for that because I want to get one of those. Those ones are cool. Right. Yeah. Well, th I guess because that is cool, as it says on the system, this is cool. So mm -hmm. obviously, it would be cool. But so, which version did you end up getting? Uh, I ended up getting for the wired ones. I I got the 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 skeleton one as well. And right now I'm actually it's kind of funny I'm using the wire the wireless blue uh transparent blue one as we're talking. So, that one is very cool. Yes. Like I wasn't sure how it would feel about it because it wasn't like, you know, one of the original colors available, but I think it's pretty neat looking. Yeah, it's a lot of it's it's really cool. I uh I really like it and it's great that I can just sit here just hanging out, you know, looking at my my TV halfway across the way from my console, and just not worrying about any wiring wire getting uh, caught up in anything. Just sitting here, you know, holding it in one hand, like you know, just like casually, and hitting the A button going through this. Yeah, I've noticed that. Um, like that's definitely one of the modern conveniences that 
I have a hard time like going back to having wired controllers only for systems. Um, I'm thinking about picking up the um, Retrobit Genesis wireless controller to use with my Sega CDX because the official one actually does not fit in the CDX. So I'm still looking for a solution for that. Oof, wait, what do you mean? Wait, it doesn't fit? Yeah, so like the um, like the official Genesis wireless controller has like a, um, I don't know how to explain it exactly. It fits into like both slots at once. It's like a single receiver that kind of pushes into both slots. And because of the way like the, um, CDX is shaped. It kind of has like that curved front with the ports really far apart. Oh, um, oh, you're talking so about it, like, the, the the infrared ones, right? Yes. Yeah, I like oh. physically will not fit in the CDX, unfortunately. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, I was. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, no, that's kind of uh, that's kind of sad. It really sucks. How how are those controllers? Uh, besides besides that, or do you have uh, were you able to test them out in other consoles? Or the other versions of the console? No, I actually do not have a regular Genesis. So I've never had a chance to use the official wireless controllers. I gotcha. Oh, I'm sorry about that. that. That really sucks. I I actually never knew that it wouldn't fit into a, a CDX. I wonder I wonder if it would fit into an XI. Oh, good point. Probably I'm not if that's how... the case. Yeah. How is the I'm trying to think of how the configuration is on those right now. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, it might be the it might be the same distance, but you know you know how these console manufacturers are sometimes. It's like they make you know make these different uh, different types of changes, and it's like oh well, guess we can't do this now. Got to make it aesthetically pleasing. Right. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Status. Oh, so I see that Matt in the comments wonders when Panzer Dragoon remake is coming our way. Me too. Me too. Um, is the like tentative release dates? Still the first quarter of 2020? Um, apparently, from what I've understood, it's winter, sometime winter 2020. Oh, oh, okay. So, so that's like, that's like a, in a while. Couple... Sorry, not winter. Sorry. So... I'm trying to think. Um, sorry, what I meant was like the winter season. So I think, because isn't January okay. technically winter or white, right? Yeah, yeah. I get what you mean. Yeah, I get you. I got you. That sorry, that's what I meant. It wasn't a year away. From my understanding, it's supposed to be winter, winter of either this year or next. So I'm gonna assume because we have a total of like less than a couple weeks left, it's gonna be 2020 winter, as in the beginning of the year, quarter one. Let's hope so. Yeah, I'm so excited to play it though. It's gonna be intense. Like I, I, I really want to experience what it's like on the Switch and how it differs you know like what's how, like, and just the beauty of it i mean i know a lot of i know that uh, a lot of us have been critical about you know the des desolate look so that desolation yes. but i i'm kind of excited to see to see it ex like an experience in a new way even if it's not that desolation that we're we're kind of used to from the original games you know yeah i don't mind like the more colorful um palette that they used it's different for sure but um, I don't hate it anyway. I'm just, I'm honestly kind of nervous to play it because I've just been so excited for so long, like, been into the series and been looking forward to the day when we would have new material come out. So I'm kind of nervous just in the sense, like, am I going to be fulfilled by this in the way I've been hoping to? Yeah, I, I think that's that's a big thing that we all worry about, especially with remakes and sort of sequels, is if, we're, if it's going to be as good as we remembered it or as good as we we hoped it would be i guess per se yeah I, I know i had that same issue with uh with resident evil with resident evil 2 coming out i was worried because it's like oh new resident evil remake it's like oh it's gonna be a third person shooter it's like oh come on i wanted the right the camera angles but when it came out though i was like whoa this is really good and like i think my biggest the biggest thing that i that i knew would sell me sell me on resident evil 2 the remake is if I scream like screamed if I screamed like a if I screamed really high pitched you know if I had screamed like a little girl almost when, like <laughs> scary things came on screen. That's the test. That's the test. If I can scare if scare the crap out of myself and be horrified or like startled, like I remember one one scene that really I knew that this game was amazing and as good as I hoped it would be, is when I was walking through a door, 
I was like, okay, no, I, I was escape. I was trying to escape a zombie, and I duked him. Like I dug, dug, I went out of the way. I was like, oh man, went through the door. Mister X came through, punched me in the face. I was like, ah, and then knocked me into the zombie, and I forgot he was there, and I screamed even louder, and I like <laughs> ran for my life. I was like, I was like, okay, this is awesome. <laughs> this game. Well, I'm has glad sold it met me. your expectations. Definitely, I. I love that I love that remake so much. I'm so happy it it did so well, and I'm super excited now for Resident Evil for Resident Evil Two remake or sorry Resident Evil Three remake remake. Yeah, I saw a little bit that about that on social media. Yeah, that's gonna be. When the, is that supposed to come out? You know, I don't remember what the release date was. I'm think I think they said like maybe maybe the beginning of next year or maybe mid summer or something. I could be wrong. I just remember it's coming out pretty soon, is what I understand. Well, that's cool. But yeah, I'm super excited to play that one too. I actually never beat Resident Evil Three Nemesis. I'm trying to remember if I did. Um, I went through those games one summer, um, one, two, and three, like all in a row, and I'm trying to remember if I actually finished it. But I enjoyed the part that I played anyway. Gotcha. I'm seeing Chase Red said April, so. That's also my birthday okay. month, so I'm going to have a really happy birthday. Very nice. Hopefully I get a change of pants for my birthday as well, if that's the case. <laughs> but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll keep that, uh, we'll keep, we'll keep that, uh, keep that close, to, we'll keep that, we'll keep that a secret, at least. If yeah, I need that change not, of pants we're not, not. going to broad, we won't broadcast it on the internet. Well, apparently. yeah, at least I won't, uh, well, that sounded like you were gonna, it's like, yeah, I totally won't do that. <laughs> totally not. Totally not. LOL, Patrick pooped his pants playing Resident Evil 3. No. <laughs> no. But, uh, but you yeah, know, I'm super I'm super excited. I love being scared, like, horror stuff. Like, I love haunted houses. I love, like, being scared of. And that's what kind of bummed me out about the newer Resident Evils, like, like 4 through 7, is that it just wasn't, you no know, scary. It didn't, like... I didn't feel as scared as I was playing those old older games, but... I'm just glad they kept that spirit of scaring the hell out of me in the newer ones, because that's that's really what I want. I just want to be terrified. Please, just terrify me. <laughs> yeah, I guess it kind of did turn more actiony with four, and then five even went more so in that direction. Yeah, I, I still I still can't get over the fact that the whole Chris Redfield punching the boulder. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Right. And hilarious. But yeah, that's it's it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm super excited for that game for sure. Uh, yeah, Chase Red, Mr. X was great. Nemesis will even be crazier. I really hope they give him the rocket launcher, and you have to somehow dodge those those things coming down the hallways. I, I just imagine you're walking down the hallways. All you hear you hear, you hear stars. All of a sudden you hear the rocket launcher cocked, and you hear like fume, and you have to like dodge out of the way, or it just like hits you in the back. <laughs> I imagine if they're gonna keep it realistic, they're pro it's gonna probably gonna be one of those one-hit kill things where if you're shot, you just instantly blow up. Right. Which would be like, even scarier. Game over. Yeah. That would be that would be so funny. I don't know if they're gonna do that or not, but I hope they do because like that would just like scare me. Imagine you're just walking down the hallway. It's like you're late at night. You're a bit tired. You go through, go through a door. Nemesis like turns around the rocket launcher, just blows you up, and it's like game over. It's like oh okay. Okay, I guess uh, I guess this is the the game now. I see Chase is saying that he will have the rocket launcher. Awesome! I am excited to get blown up by Nemesis. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm, yeah, this game's yeah. I one of the funny things when I was capturing recording for this is that I didn't realize how long it took for the game from this from the start to the gameplay. Like it, yes. it honestly surprised me because I wanted to capture footage of the gameplay. It's like, oh, let's just capture some footage of it. And it's like, oh, hey, it's like two hours. So t this like, it took me so long to even get this, this far into it. Or like get to the gameplay. Right. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's like, okay. Yeah. It's like, it's like, when am I getting to the gameplay so I can capture the, the, the fighting footage? It's yeah. Like, it's definitely like a much different format than... Like, I feel like a modern game would not take that approach. Like, typically, the introduction is shorter and it gets right to that action. I don't know, like, what that says about us as an audience these days. 
like if we're kind of more impatient and um, not really as much wanting the slow burn in the beginning with the dialogue. But yeah, like watching it, it definitely feels very different from games I've played recently in that regard. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, it's definitely a lot, a lot long, a lot uh, longer to build up. But maybe that's sort of what they're worried about with the game is, you know, maybe they're worried that, oh, people aren't going to like it because it's, you know, it's good. This has a slow build up and everything. Right. And thinking about like other games that came out around the same time and did get English translations and were very successful. I mean, Final Fantasy VII starts with that epic like battle, like almost straight away after Cloud jumps off the train. Exactly, it was like right into it. Also, yeah, so I guess I can maybe understand why Sega of America was not like chomping at the bit to localize this at the time. For sure. Okay, for a second I thought we missed it, like the, cause I thought the battle ha happened earlier, but I was wrong. I, I I remember that this part happened as well, but yeah, no, I'm I'm bummed that they didn't. I can understand why they didn't release it though, but I just wish they they would have, even if it's like the slow burn. But you know. Oh yeah, like I love that kind of thing. I, like, I wish that they would have localized like every single RPG that came out on the system here, but. Um, I know that I'm probably like too overly critical at times, um, and I don't always think of what the market actually would have been like at the time mm -hmm. whenever I complain about not having Saturn RPGs. Yeah, I think we're but... super spoiled in this day and age where we have these companies, like, even smaller ones that are able to, to have this release, or like have releases like this, like these anime games. Let's stop them. Yes. I don't want them slapping each other to death. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed enjoy this these these sort of games, and I'm glad even if we didn't get them, we have the fans making this this happen. And nowadays, we don't have to worry about it. It's like a, it's an interesting history piece, and sort of a, I guess, look where we came from from that sort of perspective, where everyone nowadays that wants to be a weeb can with all these all these RPGs, especially on the the Vita. I can't tell you how many. How many localized RPGs came out for that thing? It was insane. Yeah, it really was strong on that front for sure. Yeah, it was it was insane. It was like oh, making everyone like me today. But yeah, like I had a huge stack of them. I kind of regret selling my Vita. Like I sold it for a Turbo Graphics and a Saturn uh, fight stick and some money. But I, I kind of regret it in a way. I really enjoyed mm -hmm. uh, I really enjoyed my Vita. Maybe one day I'll get another one. Yeah, that's a console that I have never owned. I played a lot of my PSP, but I never went on to get the Vita. Yeah, I think even the PSP had a lot of our Japanese, uh, so Japanese imported games as well, right? It did, yes. And the hackability of that allowed for, like, loading English translations onto it pretty easily. Yeah, even for like stuff like the PS One as well. Like I know. That's where I first played uh, Police Knots on. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, but there, there's a lot of really great titles on that one. I know one of my favorite ones uh, on there, that sort of Jean Dark. That was really cool. But there's that one. Uh, did you have any uh, any favorite sort of games on that that you played? Oh, and Disgaea. How could I forget about Disgaea? Yes, both of those. Um, those were both really solid like, um, strategy RPGs. Um, speaking of that, like my favorite game on the system was actually the remake of Final Fantasy Tactics. I really um, enjoyed the like retranslation of that game in particular, and the beautiful like cutscenes and the voice acting. It just kind of really brought like the original experience up to date for me, and I liked it a lot. Yeah, you know, it's funny you mentioned that. I actually just got that. The I just got that game. Uh... A friend of mine gave me a bunch of like PC games, and Final Fantasy Tactics was the one game that was in there on the PS One. So I oh, thought cool. that, that was kind of funny. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, it was disc only, but you know, I actually never played Tactics before, so I'm kind of excited to, to try that out. And, and the funniest thing earlier that day, uh, my friend convinced me to go play the the Final Fantasy card game as well. Oh yeah, I forgot about that card game. Yeah. So. Uh, 
Apparently, he said that's my, my Christmas present, so I'm getting into another card game on top of top of Magic. But I'll see how this one goes. If it's a uh, a lot e a lot f fun, more fun than Magic, I might do that one instead. But but it's all cool. Yeah. So Ch yeah. So uh, Chase says I hope Sakura Wars one and four get officially translated, and the newer Sakura Wars sells great in the West. I hope so yes, too. Yes, I would love that. I mean, after after all the the great games we got, like I I think one of the I'm just surprised that Sega's like re remedying what they did in the past. Like uh, like I know they they came out with the that newest um, Fist of the North Star game, and that was really surprising. Right. Like if was, we could even get like a multi pack of like one through four all together, I think that would be neat. Yeah, I think they're seeing how it's going to sell in the West. I, I hope it sells well. I know for a fact that I'm going to be putting in, like, three pre-orders. <laughs> Doing your part. Doing my part to get this game this game series going. Because I really want to play more of them. And uh, I'm really excited to play the newest one. I know I, I hope for I hope they put out, like, a collector's edition for Sakura Wars. Because I will be buying that, like, day one. Oh, I bet they will. Yeah, I know. So. I know they did. They did it for the other games in the past. Um, uh, was it the for the the um, the Valkyria Chronicles and the Shining, the, the new Shining game on the uh, the Switch. I can't remember what the name of that one was. Shining something. Yes, I know the exact one you mean, and the name is like slipping my mind. Yeah, they always shine something. Shining wisdom, shining force, shining, shining light. You know, shining the shining. <laughs> the Shining. The Shining. Uh, that's that's what they should call the series. The Shining. That'd make an interesting turn-based game. Yeah, lots of uh, lots of de lots of demons for sure. Mm -hmm. Speaking of demons, we about to fight some demons finally. Yes. Ooh, but uh, let's see here. Yeah. Uh, Chase... Getting in the robots. Yep, getting in the mech suits. It, there, it wouldn't be a Japanese game without mech suits. Mech suits and waifus. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of that, that, that's also another anime I finished watching is um, uh, Co Co Code Geass. Oh yeah, Code Geass. That's a good one. I just finished that up recently. That one was good. Um, for the the, I think one of the funniest things in that series. Um, uh, well, this is this is gonna make this is gonna make sense when I tell, uh, when I say it. But um, one of the funniest things in the series is that um, throughout the series they have ads. I don't know if you saw it for Pizza Hut, and they have a lot of Pizza Hut boxes throughout that series. Yes. <laughs> and one of the things that we did for the once we watched the final two episodes is we ordered Pizza Hut, and we're eating pizza watching. It, <laughs> it was so funny. I, I love that was my favorite joke. It wasn't really a joke, and it was supposed to be you know shameless advertising, but it was my favorite gag that yeah. they was eating Pizza Product Hut. Product placement. But yeah, that series was amazing, and I I, I haven't seen the new movie. Uh, I hope they come out with a, a sequel to it because I think it's really good. Uh -oh. Yeah, that was. Probably like one of the first series that I really got into when I was in high school. Oh, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh oh, looks looking like I can't save. That's not good. That's not good. No, at that all. is not good. I could have sworn I had memory on my Saturn, but I guess I guess I did not. But oh well, I'll I'll just remove the cart. <laughs> I'll try to remove the <laughs> cart and save it to a to to my memory cart and transfer it. Transfer it. Yeah. See if it takes that way. Yep, it's gonna be a lot of hot swapping, but let's uh, let's hope. Uh oh, got these demons destroying the town with their giant laser samurai swords that are totally not lightsabers. I'm ready for this. Same. <laughs> you know that kid, that kid with the bowl cut reminds me of the one kid from uh, Magic Knight Ray, or the one that was trying to betray them, or that yes. the, the wizard guy. <laughs> It's like, am I playing? Am I playing? Am I playing uh, Match Night Wraith right now? Yeah, uh, that was a fun game to go through. Yeah, no, that that was a lot of fun. I hope one day I, we can sync back up and beat that game, especially with the new equipment and stuff, where it's not gonna look like funky colors halfway through the stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that wonderful converter box. Yeah, that, that. I still run one of those with my PS One, and I'm waiting for the day it just stops working. Yeah, uh, it's one of those. It seems like one of those disposable things where if it stops working, you just get another one. Yep. But hey, if it it worked really well as a, as a streaming device, I gotta say that I mean up to the point where it starts showing rain, rainbow colors and 
the funky colors editions of the games. Right, right. But yeah, no, it was it was pretty solid. Uh, Frame Master's been serving me well though, especially when we we couldn't stream because I was in another room of the house with my team. <laughs> yes. But, but now the PVMs are back and I'm playing on them again, so it, it's feeling nice. And I'm not sitting on a bed anymore too. It's on in like a chair, so. Fancy. You know, funny enough, I actually just had to switch out my chair because it was squeaking a lot. So, I'm on like a I'm a metal chair now. It's less squeaky, less comfy oh. though. So. I'm already aware. We'll see if we. Can... Yep. Gotcha. All right. So let's uh do some combat. Have Sakura. Yeah. Let's get into it. Okay. Let's select you. Okay. Let's move her right there. She gonna tank it. We go. Doop, 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 doop. All right, so let's just do a normal one for now. Slash him up. Okay, let's uh, let's see here. I'm pretty bad with a strategy game, so hoping. Actually, I need to check her attack range. Okay, there we go. I can attack. I attack from over there. That's kind of cool. So usually I like keeping these guys back a little bit, just to sort of uh, work as support. Okay, let's attack normally. So yeah, we, there we go. So like, sort of like a, a ranger and fire emblem. So there we go. Kill that guy. All right. I can't remember what's her attack range. Okay, it's not very. It's the same. So we'll move her right here. Oh, I guess. Oh crap. Can I undo that? Okay, yeah, I can. I thought we couldn't at first. Thought like at first when I first played, it, I thought I had to commit to it. But luckily, it wasn't a, one of those things I had to commit to, so that was good. Yes. I rely on that function a lot in games like this. Yeah, because I'm usually dumb, and I'll move my character where they, my character where they can't, uh, they can't attack, and it's like, uh, uh oh. Like that must have happened like three times before I learned that the, the move functionality was, uh, was actually fixed, or it's, it, you can refix it, I guess. I meant, like you can, you can redo it. Yes, yeah. To kind of test out different scenarios. Exactly. So that's always a good thing. Uh oh, about to get, about to get blown up by these guys. Or no, these guys are just defending. All right, let's move Sakura san, Sakura san. I also, I, somebody pointed out in the video, I, I mispronounced Sakura, Sa Sakura's name so many times. I, <laughs> Sakura. I said, Sa Sakura. Sa Sakura. Like and they even they even call me out in the comments. It's pretty funny. It was like Sakura. It's like yeah, I get okay, I get it, guys. I mispronounced it. Sorry. <laughs> I get it, guys. Japanese. People love having a field day with stuff like that. Hey, it's it's part it's part of the game, I guess. But mm -hmm. I thought it, I thought it was funny. It's like okay, <laughs> yeah. It may it, the funniest thing though is I actually looked up translations like the way that people's names are pronounced. So I was like, okay, so it's pronounced this way versus, you know, that way or whatever. Okay, so she has a long range. So I want to show off the, the, the super ability. So I'm going to, at least I hope I can, special. Could do the special on this guy. Uh-oh, cutscene, motorcycle, attack, go. Gotcha. I got, I'm looking in the comments. Uh, Chase Red's favorite RPG series. He says Shadow Hearts is his favorite. What about yours? Oh, good choice. Hmm. I'm gonna have to be basic and say Final Fantasy. Um, Nothing wrong with that. Specifically, like the PS1 games or seven through ten. I'll go with seven through ten. I gotcha. How did you How did you feel about uh, about eight versus seven? I love eight. It's like my second favorite in the series. It's kind of the one that most people dislike if they're gonna dislike one, but. Um, it was a game that I totally did not understand whenever I first played it. I was pretty young and I had no idea what was going on with like the junction system or anything like that. So I struggled through it and I got stuck and I ended up kind of giving up on it until I got a little bit older and was then able to figure out what was going on. But I really liked it. Yeah, I've, I've heard from a lot of people that, uh, oh crap, oh man, I committed, dang it. Well. I guess I have to use my special on him then. But uh, but yeah, no, it's it's one of those. I imagine the card game must have been really really tough, at least. 
I enjoy the card game a lot, um, and I enjoy the one in Final Fantasy IX as well. Nice. I'll have to. Yeah, and I, I always gave that 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 one a lot of grief, but I think I might I might try it out and sort of you know give my own opinion because it was like years ago. So I think I think I might be trying it out. Well, it's kind of like it's a departure from like the overall atmosphere of the previous games. It has like a school anime vibe for sure. And I like that, so I like the game, but I can understand if people aren't as much a fan of it. That's fair enough. Yeah, I think uh yeah, I I I yeah, like I said, I'm going to give it a shot and, you know, just see like maybe maybe the, the hype wasn't real, like the, the hate hype. The hate, the hate train. So I'm going to I'm going to give it a shot though one of these days. And it's definitely on the list, but I think one of the biggest grievances I need to beat, uh, I definitely need to beat 7, especially with the new remake coming. Oh, yeah. So I I, I got that pre-ordered. I'm super excited for that remake, though. It's going to be sweet. Yeah, I've really been really impressed by the footage that I've seen so far. It looks different, but I don't necessarily think different is a bad thing yeah, whenever it, has... it comes to like, the gameplay. Yeah, it kind of has the gameplay of um, what game was it? The a fifteen. Uh, yeah, 15. is what it reminds me of. Yeah. That that's exactly what it is. I I couldn't remember exactly what game, which version that was. There's so many, and it's it's crazy how many they have out. That's where I first met you. But yeah, no, I'm super excited. Uh, in terms of my favorite RPG, ooh, that one's hard. Um, I'm trying to think if I could pick one RPG series. Oof, man. Oof, uh, gosh, uh. Dang it, this is too hard. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess if I had to pick absolutely one, I'd have to beat. I guess, I guess really I'd have to pick Pokemon, because it's really the only RPG I really beat. Yes, well, that's a good choice. Yeah, so that, that that's definitely I have to if I have to go with one, it'd probably have to be Pokemon for sure. Um, Dragon Quest, which is, is also, your favorite from that series? Oh, absolutely, game. absolutely. That's that one's a lot easier. It's it's gold and silver. I that series is one of the best ones, just because it had so many surprises. It had so much great gameplay. Um, I love the Pokemon from that generation a lot, and it, it I guess it's sort of the one game that I I played that I was like on board waiting for. Like, you know, the, the actually waiting for the game to come out. Yes. I agree. That's my favorite from the series as well. I gotcha. Yeah, and Heart Gold and Soul Server, like, made it even even better. It, was an, it made it, like, insane. Oh, yeah. I rave about those remakes all the time because they're the perfect example of, like, a developer taking something that was great and just polishing it even further, making, making it, it feel really complete. Exactly, and one of the things that I'm, uh, and I guess it really goes to show because like I think that's the most expensive Pokemon game to get. Like, if you want to get them, even loose, it's always like it's always like they ask an arm and a leg for it, you know? Yes, they do. Those games retain their value big time, and especially like I don't know if you remember the Pokey Walker from whenever that originally came out. It was like that little pedometer that you could transfer your Pokemon from the game into and the more steps that you would take with the pedometer the um, like more items you would gain and levels that you would gain oh absolutely I remember, I remember that the pokey walker for sure that was a uh, that was a uh, my big thing but like I use that all the time it was so cool I I love that thing like I brought it to school it was like the Fitbit before the Fitbit <laughs> exactly I brought it to school I uh like I like I'd walk around school with it. I go to like 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 whenever I go out, I have it on. It was so cool. It made it made sort of playing it a lot, a lot more fun and engaging. Oh, it did. I felt like my Pokemon were really <laughs> with me. I would take it to school as well, and my friends would have theirs. It was just a great time. No man, I love yeah. That that game was the game was a lot of fun, and I and I'm 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 hoping. I've heard rumors that there's actually. Well, not a, uh, well, not a, um, what was it talking about? What was it looking for? Well, not a, uh, a Pokemon Gold remake. They're, apparently, they come out with a Diamond remake, is rumored. Oh, well, I mean, that would be the one that would be, like, next up for it, 
I guess. I'd be up for it. Same here. That that's also my that's my second favorite in the series. Yeah, I like that one a lot. I, um, it's kind of the one that like people don't talk about as much. I feel so. Yeah, for sure. It's 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 um it's kind of a shame. I heard a lot of people that just didn't like it, which kind of bummed me out because I really enjoyed the game personally. I liked it as well. Yeah, I yeah, but I I, I there were, those are some of my favorite Pokemon there. I know uh, I know for sure um, was it? I know for sure like Boonery one sorry not Boonery, uh, Lil Pony is one of my favorite Pokemon and she's from that generation. I love I love that Pokemon. It's so cute. Yes. And I love the Mega Evolution. I was just playing some, um, like the Sapphire remake last night, and I like the Mega Evolution of her in that game. For sure. sure yeah, that, 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 uh, I actually never, I, that, that does remind me, I need to play that one too. But. So many games, so little time. Dang it. Why, why is there so many games? I want to play these. Why, why, I know. why? I just want to play all of them. I just well, wish it's a good problem to have. Yeah, I, 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 I suppose I suppose that's good, a good point. Uh oh, he just oh jeez, he just cut Sakura War down. There's Sakura War. <laughs> Sakura War. What's wrong? That's with her me? last name. First name War. Sakura. Last name War. <laughs> Sakura. Hmm. But yeah, uh, but yeah, no. If uh, if I had to pick a favorite RPG, hands down that 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 series. And would you say you you said that Gold and Silver is your favorite as well, right? Yes, and like closely followed by um, Ruby Sapphire. Gotcha. Yeah, Ruby Sapphire was a lot of fun. I remember playing that a ton, a ton as a kid. It's a great game. Also, I just realized that the main villain's name is Satan. Yes, I just noticed that as well. <laughs> Something I... kind of interesting. Yeah. Uh... I did not notice that. I was like, "Oh, uh, why is why is his name Satan?" <laughs> Let's move. I'm hoping I'll be finished. Oh wait, no, no, don't move there, Maria. Don't, no, you defend. There we go. I actually moved Maria right in front of the the big bad. He's like, "Don't do that. You're gonna die." I just want to move uh, Ogami so he can do the super attack. Also, I think I saw I saw somebody mention that a voice care someone changed it to the same voice as Ogami. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, uh, one of the I think Azal Azil or uh, uh, from uh, from uh, Drag or sorry for Panzer Dragoon Saga had the same voice actor as one of the characters in here. I think it's Ogami. Oh yeah, no, Hiroi, the main character of or of Oron, is voiced by the same person who voiced Azil from Panzer Dragoon Saga. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, Maya Sakamoto. Yeah, that's. She also plays um, Nezuko from Demon Slayer. I believe Nezuko or someone, but from that series. Sweet. So so uh, so we got uh, we got Azil uh, back and backing up uh, back up the Demon Slayer cast then. Yes. That's really cool. Uh, it's not Nezuko. I forget who it is, but. It's definitely someone from that series, but she's all over the place. She's probably like one of the most, um, like she has so many roles in so many shows and games. I gotcha. All right. Well, I think, uh, I think this is probably a good time to, uh, good time to, uh, call it a day for the this stream. I think, uh, don't you have to, you have to head out in a little bit, right? I do, yes. I gotcha. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we're uh, hopefully we'll be able to do some more. We'll we'll see what's going on. Claire, would you would you be down for doing more? Or? Yeah, absolutely. I gotcha. All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, thank you again, Claire, for coming on. I know it's been a while, but it's uh it's been great to have you on again. Uh, I love I love sort of talking to you, playing games, especially talking anime and stuff with you. So, it's been a lot of fun. Yes. Thank you so much for having me. I'm just happy that we can get together and celebrate the fact that this game is finally out. Yeah, and that's why I wanted to bring you on too, because I know why well, I wanted to bring you on, because I know you, you love this game as much as I did. I was like, well, I can't do a stream without her. That'd just be wrong. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> yeah, we've do that. complained about it for so long, but, but 
But we finally got our Sakura san and we got Sakura Wars. It's amazing. We got it. We did it, yes, guys. I just want to say thank you so much to the team who translated this for us. Um, you guys are the best, and I appreciate your work a lot. Yep. Thank you very much, guys, for watching, and uh, have a great day. Bye.